Today on Sugar Spun Run, I'll be showing you how to make lace cookies. Hey everybody, Sam here, and today I'm going to be sharing my recipe for homemade lace cookies. These are a pretty easy cookie to make. They're thin, they're brittle, they're crispy, they are as addictive as potato chips. I think you're really going to love them. Now to get started, you'll want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The next thing you're going to need is a medium-sized, heavy-bottomed saucepan, and let's go ahead and head over to our stovetop. Now in this saucepan, we are going to combine four tablespoons of unsalted butter, one half cup of firmly packed light brown sugar, a fourth cup of granulated sugar, and a fourth cup of light corn syrup. Now you'll wanna grab a wooden spoon or a heat proof spatula, something where the handle is not going to get hot and burn you. And we're going to turn our stovetop heat to medium and just cook, stirring frequently until the sugar is melted. Now keep your heat over medium. You do not want to crank up the heat to speed up the process because then your sugar won't melt properly and you're just going to have a mess on your hands. So have patience and just keep stirring while the mixture comes to a boil. Once it finally does come to a boil, we can remove our saucepan from our heat. Now we still have a few more ingredients to add, starting with one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one fourth teaspoon of salt, one fourth cup of all purpose flour and two thirds cups of finely chopped almonds. Now I do wanna just talk about these almonds for just a second. I will usually either chop them myself, I'll mince the kind of mince them like I'm mincing garlic and do it on my cutting board or to make things even easier, I'll toss them in my food processor and pulse them until they are finely chopped. Now be careful if you use the food processor method that you don't go overboard or you will end up with almond butter. Just wanna show you what this looks like so you have a good idea. I also do not use blanched almonds. I leave the skins on and I've never had a problem with that. Now we'll just wanna stir everything together until all of your ingredients are completely combined in your saucepan. This is a very runny cookie dough, so I like to let it sit for about five minutes before I start scooping it. Now, it's still going to be pretty runny. It'll firm up as it cools, but I like to let it sit. That way, it's just a little bit easier to manage. Once it has cooled for about five minutes, you'll wanna use a cookie scoop that's about one and a half teaspoons in size, or you can just use two spoons and measure it that way, and we'll portion this cookie dough or this cookie batter onto a parchment paper lined cookie sheet. Now when spacing these cookies, make sure you give them plenty of room because they are going to spread a lot in the oven. You wanna space them several inches apart. Now we'll transfer these lace cookies to our 350 degree Fahrenheit preheated oven where they will need to bake for nine minutes. You'll wanna rotate them halfway through baking. Now everyone's oven can vary a little bit. The easiest way to tell they're done baking is if you peek at them, the bubbling that happens while they're in the oven should have stopped and they should be a nice golden brown color. Make sure you keep an eye on these cookies while they're in the oven because they can burn really fast. Once your lace cookies finish baking, you are going to need to let them cool completely on the baking sheet. While they're still warm, they're going to be very fragile and they are not going to be brittle yet. They need to cool completely so that they're nice and brittle all the way through. Now, once they've cooled, we can go ahead and dig in. So as you can see, now that they've cooled, they are nice and brittle and crisp. They're as addictive as potato chips and they're a lot of fun to eat too. That is how easy it is to make lace cookies. I hope you guys try this one out. And if you do, let me know what you think. I hope you love them as much as I do. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. <laughs>